Uh, originally getting involved in the STEM program was my way of getting a smaller classroom size versus going to you know one of the other leading high schools in Cleveland, which is John Hay, Cleveland School of Science and Medicine. And so I wanted a smaller classroom size. I was really interested in what exactly it had to offer me. And now I know exactly uh, what it had to offer me and what it has been able to give me. Um, the STEM education for me has been uh, phenomenal. I've learned a lot of um, different things through different methods. The project-based learning has put me in a position where um, I'm actually a viable asset, asset at the companies that I work with and things of that sort. And so uh, the STEM education, as far as like growing with me, um, has done a great job. Um, I, what I do now as a senior uh, with the classes at CSU, I'm able to come back and help the younger students with the, the work that they're working on. I'm able to um, work on projects outside of school, uh, building green energy circuits and things of that sort. Things that if I had, you know, went to a school with larger classroom sizes, even if I would have took a circuits class, I wouldn't got the same personalized attention. And that's what the STEM education, that's why it's been so valuable for a student like me. Um, the why is, uh, is far more important than the how or you know the what to. You can figure out what to do, that's very easy. I can do a, a thousand integrals a thousand times, but that won't change the fact that I don't understand why I'm doing the integration. You know, how can I apply that um, in the physical world? And th those things are so important because once you get out into the world, you want to be an engineer, you can't, you know, be like, well, I know how to integrate, but what's, this, what's the significance of it, you know? Why do I need to do it? And asking those questions is something that our school has always wanted us to do, always pushed us to ask the why instead of the how-tos. And because of that, I've been able to really grow as a person um, and actually understand the world in a light that I didn't understand before. And I don't understand why things happen and why things occur. I go to the doctor and they're explaining to me, well, you know, you have a cold and it does this and it does that. And I'm like, oh, that's the respiratory system. Oh, I understand, you know. And versus like, well, I know that I have two lungs, you know. <laughs> and so understand that how it works, you know, the whole, you know, physiology of the world really helps out um, as far as just everyday life. Uh, working, you know, with Lockheed Martin or Rockwell Automation or even, you know, some of my friends that work at General Electric, knowing the why they're doing it is really helping them focus on, you know, how to do it better versus just how to do. I'm first in my family to go to college. I have an older sister who may be going to school eventually. Uh, we're still up in the wind with that. But as far as I go, um, I was able to score in the, the 97th percentile um, in the country. It means I scored higher than 97 percent of students on the ACT test. And uh, I've, I've put myself in the applicant pool um, at some of the top universities like Harvard, Stanford, Michigan, Princeton, all these different universities. I'm, you know, in their middle 50 or higher uh, because of my testing scores as well as, you know, the, the wealth of knowledge that I've been able to attain from the STEM education. And being the first in my family, you know, to go to college is good enough. You know, now I'm setting an example for my, you know, my siblings. But when I told my sister, well, yeah, I scored in the 97th percentile, she's like, well, that's great for you, but now I got to score in the 98th. <laughs> and it's those types of things that it's very important, I feel, not only to my family, but to be able to speak to some of the students in my school who are like, well, I only scored this. I was able to go up 10 points on the ACT, which in percentile terms is 30 to 40 percent uh, percentile because you know hard work dedication to support the stem um, community and because of that you know I can be a real success story where I can go back and I can talk to people and I can give them the hope that they need because at the end of the day there is nothing that you can't do it's just what you're really willing to work hard for one of the things that I quote all the time is find something you're willing to die for and then live for it and I'm willing to die to be successful and so I'm gonna live to be successful